So are you able to see my uh, PPT now, sir? Yes, you are audible and your screen is visible, sir. Please yeah. proceed. Thank you. Uh, very good evening uh, to uh, Mr. Daya, sir, in absentia, and Karthik, sir. Thanks for this opportunity and uh, presenting a use case pertaining to uh, notices uh, under GST and income tax. Uh, let me give a brief uh, background about me. Uh, this is Jayant Upluri. Uh, I'm vice chairman of Vijayada branch and as a well practicing child accountant in, in Vijayada. So now I'm going to present uh, how chat GPT is used in replying to the notices. Okay. So, so this has been designed in such a way where a small and medium town chartered accountant doing practice can go through this uh, 10 minutes webinar from me and use this in his day-to-day -day practice. So what I want to do at this point of him, uh, time is just uh, uh, how the AI is useful, how, how the chat GPT is useful. So these are the few points which was uh, means drafted, uh, AI powered drafting. We can use uh, uh, chat GPT for drafting. We also can use chat GPT for enabling faster and error-free replies uh, with consisting okay. formatting. So these are the things which we can uh, uh, which we can do by using uh, chat GPT. So now uh, uh, I want to the uh, just uh, do the how the demo flow will be. So in step one, what we will do is we will be uploading the notices uh, pertaining to GST or IT in PDF and whatever the text format. So chat GPT will do analysis and uh, throws the content to us. So here comes the actual crux of the thing, which what we need to do. So uploading straight away PDF or uh, I mean uh, whatever it may be, JPG format to the uh, AI tool and uh, expecting reply from it is very, very wrong to my perspective. What we need to do, we need to give a correct prompt or what we need to do is we need to give a correct content. We need to give a correct data to get the exact reply, which we can directly take the print and file it to the department or take the print or take the PDF and directly upload it to the respective notice. So this is how, uh, what we input is we input the, the GST uh, notice or IT notice. Uh, we will do, it will do the analysis. Uh, we will give the absorbed prompts and we'll get the draft reply. Then we will convert into the uh, final reply. So this is the overall picture, how we uh, deal with the, uh, notices. Now I'll directly jump into the uh, use case so that it will be helpful for one and all. So I'll be using chat GPT for this. So before this, I just want to uh, show you the notice because, uh, because of the uh, client specific information. I'm not going to open the notice over here. This is the income tax order. This order is pertaining to one uh, uh, appeal. So why I take this case uh, from my most of the cases is this is the case which has seen pre chat GPT era and post chat GPT era because this is the actual assessment which we have done where uh, uh, the judgment is against us against the client then we went for appeal so in appeal again we are going uh, doing uh, I mean submitting data and uh, submitting the facts to the respective appellant authority. So that is why the reason why we have to, took this case because this is the case which I have seen both the eras pre GST pre uh, chat GPT and post chat GPT. So now what I am doing is I am not opening this PDF. I have taken the gist of this uh, case over here. So let me uh, briefly explain the case over here. So this is the case of a bullion dealer where he he sells the bullion every day. He take the cash deposit, uh, it collects the cash from his respective customers and deposit that cash in the in the bank account. In the next day again, he will purchase a uh, bullion from the respective uh, uh, B2B dealer. So again, he will sell it to the customers in cash. So this is his business. So uh, let me explain the brief facts. He's an individual and uh, we have already filed and declared income is 2,46,000. We have filed ITR. And uh, so the cash deposit, the crux of the thing is there is a cash deposit in this uh, case where it is around 52 crores in respect to three bank accounts. And the declared turnover is 49 crores. And the profit is just 2.46 lakhs. So the reason why is uh, we all know that bullion trading is with a very, very low margin. Uh, 0 .0, 0 0.1 margin. So that's what we're going to explain. So why this has been picked up as a scrutiny is uh, while converting the JOSON file from the last year to the current year where the mute notice has been triggered, 
there is a mismatch of uh, the nature of business where it has been uh, marked should have been marked as bullion but it is not as other products so that is the reason it has been picked uh, picked uh, uh, for scrutiny we also mentioned that so uh, this is the turnover and this is the estimated profit these are all the facts of the case so now what i am telling is uh, i am just copy pasting these facts of the case into the chart gpt in the form of prompt so now we see what it will do so what I'm telling is, uh, what I'm telling is now I am, this is the exact prompt. This is the facts which I'm pasting. And I'm also telling that now I am providing the facts which were extracted from the assessment order. Kindly uh, key facts first and wait for my inputs for the exact reply. So this is what I'm giving it to the chat GPT. Because I'm saying that I'm just giving the facts now, uh, uh, just giving the content in the notice. So please uh, wait for the inputs which I am giving. So just I am giving enter. Yeah. So it has taken all my uh, uh, things in the content in the notice. Now it is asking, okay, queries are issues, raise it is assistant and appropriate river. Okay. Now what I'll do is this is the prompts which have been drafted. Prompts is nothing but the general text. What are the issues? What are the things? What are the exact things which we have done and uh, uh, in this case we know it's a uh, purchase from the authorized dealer what we have done is we have uh, given uh, uh, purchases tds to all the things which is purchases are recorded sales are recorded so all the purchases are authorized purchases so once i give the facts it is clearly saying see so this is the nature of business minute yeah so this is the nature why it has been uh, this is the clerical matter that is the reason why it has been picked for scrutiny so cash deposits are there what are the nature of sales now i have told you like these are the things which have been given in the prompt see i have given name pan number purchase as per profit and loss account and tds so these are the uh, suppliers where i have made tds i have given the prompt in such a way See how chat GPT has been made. It is in a beautiful table. So as directly this purchases matches my purchases, which is there in the audited profit and loss account. And I already told and explained in the prompt that all the sales are my cash sales, which have been deposited in the bank. So my sales matches with my bank statements because bank turnover is already recorded. So I also told that the very, very low margin will be there for bullion. So how beautifully it has been drafted. See, the bullion industry typically operates with a very thin margin. The gold and bullion rates are widely published and known to customers. Accordingly, the net profit declared is 2 point, which is very 0 0.09 on the turnover of 49.2 crores and prevailing uh, uh, business practices. And so that's, that's, that's how it has given. And it also made a prayer to drop the proceedings. So I also gave in the prompts that what are the attachments which I'm going to attach, how beautifully it has dragged. I am, I am, it has been saying that like copy of ITR3 and acknowledgement is there, tax audit report is there, sales registers, purchase registers, tedious registers. Now I came into the idea that now I want to yeah, sir, give the, yeah, now I want to give the, uh, the sales and the uh, appropriate, uh, so what this is the prompt which I want to give it directly. Thanks for the detailed reply. I also require to include the below month wise purchase and sale, including gross, gross profit margin, to strengthen my argument for low margins of for the trading of bullion. See, now I am requesting it and giving it to a prompt to it. Now it is redrafting my reply. So it is saying cash deposits. This table is already been seen. See. So I have just given the month-wise purchase sales and gross profit. It has beautifully made a table for me and clearly explained the gross profit margin is less than 0.1%. So again, it gave the conclusion. This is the, again, already it gave uh, all the things in uh, attachments which I am going to. So it is asking me to whether it is important PDF or not. In the same sense, coming to GST.
So we have gone for appeal in GST, where again we received a notice to pay the income, uh, uh, I mean, uh, interest on it. So we have come with, with uh, uh, prompt saying that this is the fact, as the time is very less, I am directly pasting it over in the chat GPT. So now we are sticking to the appeal which we have made. So with the new circular where interest being waived, uh, we are we are sticking to the circular and not paying anything pertaining to this uh, notice. We are saying that and uh, automatically the entire uh, reply is being drafted by chat GPT. Answer time is up. Yeah. So this is a way we can use uh, as a small and medium practitioner can use and leverage chat GPT. So it assists us uh, uh, like a article student rather than a semi-qualified. So it saves a lot of time. So thank you. Thank you one and all for giving this opportunity. Thank you, Jain, sir. Uh, the audience have asked uh, a question repeatedly as to how safe uh, it is to upload any notice or any material as such to the chat GPT or any other Gen AI tools. So the oh, audience I just, have asked about the privacy concern. If you can show some, uh, if you can throw some light on that, sir. Yeah. So what I have done is this, sir. Uh, I have taken the entire crux sir, of the data. Hmm. That means the points in the notice. I have changed the PAN number, like A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, J, and also the names and other details. These are the crux of the things which will be existing in any notice. That may be income tax or that may be GST. To my understanding and to my practice regularly, what I usually do is I remove the PAN card and the names and the addresses and a few bank account numbers. So these are the more sensitive information which we can be uh, probed. Apart from this, give some dummy data into the in, uh, mean, uh, text, throw it. Then it will, uh, to, to the 90%, uh, we can avoid uh, this type of uh, problems uh, by keeping changing these numbers. Sir. Apart from this, the slides which you have seen, uh, those two sites are made by AIPPT only. So I've done, took only two minutes. I've just given a prompt that I need to present one and give this uh, our notices for pertaining to GST and income tax it has given. In the same sense, the gist which have been extracted from uh, uh, the notice are also driven by chat GPT only. I've just uploaded the notice. It has given the facts because I didn't tend, spend much time in preparing the facts as well. Facts also has been done by chat GPT. So thank you, sir. Thank you one and all for giving me this opportunity. Got it, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So with this, we come to end of this uh, uh, presentation by panelists in episode seven, season three of uh, Hackathon AI, Hackathon by ICAI. Uh, now to conclude, uh, I have uh, based on the audience question that were uh, coming and based on what I have uh, been able to answer a few of them, if not all. So mainly the questions were oriented towards how safe are these Gen AI tools when it comes to the issue of privacy, because chartered accountants are dealing with clients' data and confidentiality and ethics are the key governance items that we should not be ignoring at all. So one thing I would like to clarify here is uh, the use cases the members have presented. Uh, anywhere, whatever data they have shown are all dummy data, test datas. And if at all a member is using any Gen AI tool in his or her office, they can always sanitize the data as rightly told by the last participant. Uh, if you anonymize the data, then what we are seeking from the Gen AI is a solution. Now, for example, if there is a notice, if you are able to remove the officer's name and the client name, then the body of the notice is what is important. If it is a GST notice, then there will be two or three issues. If it's an income tax issues uh, notice, then also there will be a couple of issues, which we would like to seek an answer from the uh, AI agent, AI tool with regard to drafting of a reply, drafting of appeal, or maybe processing of data. Now, when it a uh, few questions from the audience are as to where these tools can be available or can can they be made available? So I would like to answer that this hackathon is meant for the members to come forward and uh, show a proof of concept. So the members are aiming here to come and show that by using AI tools that are available in the market, I am referring to the platforms, not one or two specific apps as such. So the platform, when I mean the platforms are ChatGPT, Gemini, Cloud, etc. So this kind of platform where one can go and uh, these are rightly called as generative AI. 
where one can go and with the help of uh, simple question and answer chat with the help of prompt and chat one person can uh, achieve the output the desired code or the desired uh, process or uh, the uh, the automation the rpa that we saw that is to be executed and so forth so we are not at all endorsing any particular platform or any particular tool because the world of ai is moving very rapidly and uh, as an institute of chartered accountants of india we do not want to endorse any tool as such we are very clear on that policy term as well and with regard to the use case uh, the i believe the committee will be uploading this particular uh, episode in the uh, youtube channel members can revisit and probably have an understanding from the video and then probably they can try to uh, find the use case as suitable to their professional and personal needs and uh, when it comes to showcase of platforms uh, we encourage members to showcase only the platforms and not the tools so whenever members have uh, or try to uh, showcase a particular tool uh, we have received feedback from the audience that has been considered and uh, yes so we uh, encourage also there was few uh, one or two questions from members saying uh, when is the next episode of hackathon and uh, how do one can enroll in hackathon so i have uh, replied stating uh, you are requested to please follow the website of uh, ai in icai for more updates with regard to the upcoming seasons and upcoming episodes so you can be a part of a uh, panelist in the upcoming episodes based on the due procedure in which you can enroll and uh, with this uh, you can uh, start your uh, journey in artificial intelligence uh, its usage in your day to day life and uh, profession as well so with this i kartikeya shonai sign off today's uh, episode 7 of season 3 ai hackathon thank you very much one and all and 